you doing, YouTube? Matt with Master Beer Reviews, back to another review. And we're going to be doing some Imperial Stout action today in the form of uh, Dark Hollow, which is from, uh, what is it, Blue Mountain Barrel House. Blue Mountain from Virginia. Never had anything from them. Heard of them before. Saw their offerings out in the wild before, but just never picked one up. Um, so I'm super excited to give it a whirl for a couple reasons. One, I like Imperial Stouts. Two, there's chocolate involved. Three, there's co coffee involved. And that's two, so let's go three. And four, even though we said a couple reasons, uh, it's aged. So let's see what we got going on here as far as what's on the bottle. Uh, Imperial Stout aged in oak bourbon barrels, dark hollow, chocolate and coffee aged uh, Blue Mountain Barrel House beer. There you go. That's all you got going on the front. On the back, a little bit of a story time. So grab a pillow. Uh, chocolate, coffee, bourbon, beer. This liquid is the alpha and omega. You need nothing else. Our flagship Imperial Stout has been aged in charred American oak bourbon barrels with African cocoa nibs and locally roasted coffee. Dark, bitter cocoa blends with sweet malt, robust coffee mellows in the presence of oak imparted vanilla and bourbon flavors. Enjoy this ale at the end of a fine meal with good friends. Uh, Blue Mountain Barrel House was founded by the creators of Blue Mountain Brewery, Nelson County, Virginia. The Barrel House also resides in Nelson County where the woods are deep, the mountains are bold, and great beer flows through the land. Try each style of our exquisite original beer. This beer is alive. Please ensure it has been kept in good storage conditions. Barrel House beers are bottled with a portion of live beer undergo 100% bottle fermentation. If the bottle, a bottom layer of the yeast is disturbed during handling, allow the beer to settle upright for a few days before consumption. Extended, cooling, cool, extended cool cellaring of this beer is possible, but drink by the date stamped on the cork for peak flavor. Let's see what we got. Date stamped on the cork. Don't see a date, so... There you go. Um, alcohol 10%, 70 IBUs. And uh, proudly brewed by Virginia, government warning stuff, yada, 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 and that's it. It said uh, drink by the date up here. I don't see anything at all. It could be somewhere else in the cork, which would be counterproductive because if you want to drink it by that date, you can't see it. Um, I'm going to just take a shot in the dark and assume it's new. Uh, but when we pull the cork, we'll find out. Uh, Label-wise, it's cool. Um, screen printed. I'm a huge fan of screen printing, so that's a bonus. Um... It's a bit generic, um, but not definitely not the worst label I've ever seen. It's kind of cool. I dig it, but it could be a little cooler, so we'll see. Still on date on that sucker. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, easy. Oh, I love when the corks come out easy. I've been on a run of like horrible corks lately. Okay, so and there is nothing on the cork whatsoever. So. False information, Blue Mountain. Why are you doing that to us? But anyway, I don't care. Because even if it said... Oh, that's dark. Uh, even if it said... Oh, drink by... Da 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 It's 10% Imperial Stout. The sucker will be for freaking 15 years, so who gives a shit? Anyway, uh, that is an Imperial Stout. Super coffee head. Uh, crazy creamy, tiniest bubbles whatsoever, and uh, I would like to tell you what's going on inside, but mm, you're not going to see in there because it's dark as dark can be. Um, yeah, super creamy. Mm. Bodes well so far. Let's see what else this sucker's got going on in the nose. Very subtle. Not a ton going on in there. Um, you know, coffee, cocoa are definitely present, but very subtle. Roasted malts. Not getting any bourbon whatsoever, or any oak barrel. But it's a very, very subtle nose. Yeah. Um, probably... They're very balanced, though. I was going to try to pick out which one's most robust, but of the nose parts, the flavors that I'm picking out there, scent. Yeah, it's, um, it's malt, coffee, cocoa, and that's about it. 
Not a ton of bourbon. So we'll see what she's got in the mouth. Cheers. Really nice mouthfeel. Not thick, but very, 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 very creamy. Um, not hoppy, but slightly hop forward. I mean, it's, you know, what does it say on here, IBU-wise? 70 IBUs, not necessarily indicative of how hoppy a beer is going to be. Um, I've had, you know, what was the one? Uh, Black Albert from Destruce. Um, their Russian Imperial Stout was uh, 100 plus IBUs, and then you can sense one drop of any kind of hops in that beer whatsoever. So it's a matter of balancing. So you're getting just that tiniest bit of hot presence there. It's a good beer, but it's just lacking in every aspect to make it amazing beer. Like, it's super drinkable. I mean, what is it, 10% alcohol? Zero booze whatsoever. A nice fluffy mouthfeel. Um, the coffee's there. The roasted malts are there. The um, the cocoa's there, but they're all very, they're perfectly balanced, besides the hops, which is just a little bit forward. Perfectly balanced, but very subtle. I just want them to just be dialed up just a little bit more, not to make it a crazy over the top beer, just to bring all that out. Um, bourbon wise, you might get it in there a little bit. But it's definitely hops here. Not that, not that it's super hoppy. It's so su how subtle it is. The hops are here, and just underneath it, you have your roasted malts, coffee, cocoa, and stuff like that. And then just like a couple of notches down, there's just a little bit of oaky bourbonness to it. You know, so so the sucker sit. I mean, if it's brand new, like I said, there's no dating on this whatsoever. But I'm just I you can just tell. I can just tell by looking at the bottle. It's screen printed. It's shiny as hell. I haven't seen anywhere else before. So I'm I'm, I'm just. I know it's newer. I know it's not science, but if you let it sit for a little bit, hops totally balance out. Um, those other flavors, you know, not going to go anywhere. You know, might gain a little bit. So things should even out. Um, probably be best to let this sit for maybe about six months to a year before you crack it. But, yeah, not a bad beer overall. Um, not the best Imperial Sod I've ever had, but definitely not the worst. Like I said, I just wish it was a little better balanced for me. Um, rating wise, uh, I give it like an eighty-five. You know, it's that. It's that. It's a very nice beer. You know, kind of dial that hop back a little bit. Crank, not not crank, just nick up, dial up those other flavors a little bit more, and you're probably looking at like a ninety. 90 plus beer that would probably only gain with time uh, give it a little bit of time by yourself but it might even get a little bit bigger so 85 overall um, value 10% uh, 750 Russian Imperial Stout barrel aged I think I paid $13 it's not too shabby not too shabby at all so I'll give it a, a 7 out of 8 Seven, eight, seven or eight on a value scale. And availability, I've seen it one or two places, so I mean it's not hard to find, but it's semi -real easy to find. This is northeastern Pennsylvania, so I'd give it an availability scale of like a six. So yeah, very respectable scores across the board. Eighty-five overall. Not that not that shabby of a uh, imperial stout whatsoever. You know, just wish it was just a little bit more to it. So um, yeah. So if you like Russian imperial stouts. If you like Imperial Stouts, if you like uh, Barrel-Aged Porters even, um, if you like your beers dark, if you like them to have a good drinkability to them but just not be over the top, um, definitely be something worth checking out. So yeah, Dark Hollow. Chocolate and Coffee Aged Bourbon Barrel Imperial Stout from Blue Mountain. Not too shabby. Um, so yeah, another review in the books. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or whatever, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you know of beers that you want to see reviewed or your local brewery doesn't get enough pub or anything, if you know great beer out there that we don't know about, besides the heavy hitters that everybody knows about, you know, like we want local stuff that people um, know exist regionally but not like nationally, please let us know because we're always looking for new stuff to review. And, uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers. Way more active on Instagram, so if you can check us out anywhere, check us out there. And uh, Yeah, another review in the book. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice beer right now, and hopefully you see you next time. Cheers.